One day, just eat super quick. quick. Monday, taking public transport. Uh, typical Monday, getting some green mango back at home. Thank you for it's actually a good combo. Black Nazarene, and it's such a feel good vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone yeah, yeah. is like yeah, happy yeah, yeah, fiesta, yeah, yeah. but look at the amount of people here. It is cool, it is really, really cool. Now I understand why everybody needs a towel. So brung in it, bro. Uh, yes. Such a good vibe. people have. There's a procession that started in Carino and it's bringing a replica of the Black Nazarene here to Chiapo. And if you look around me, everybody is very much uh, devoted to what's going on and there really is this deep sense of pride and belief and it's very unique to see. You really see the devotion they have at Chiapo. <laughs> this is the best idea ever. Yes. Smart Canadian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. come from all over the country and they bring their own replicas of the Black Nazarene so really is a lot of devotion here and uh, it's just really interesting to see. You can see they're starting to get more people because they're getting closer to the main replica. This is definitely not your typical Monday, this is the fiesta of the Black Nazarene. I'm actually wearing shoes! So I should not go in there. I shouldn't go in there because it wouldn't be right too because everybody's barefoot. Look at the intensity. Everyone just tries to go in and get a touch of it, but the devotees, that's what's super important, is just getting a touch of the Black Nazarene because they believe that there'll be miracles. The Filipinos really believe, Catholics, that there'll be miracles in the Black Nazarene. 
You can see people holding towels, they throw them up to try and get in touch with the black house and they have them thrown back. I love the vibes. Yes. I I we got the you know what? I have to say, okay, this is a black Nazarene. There's millions of Filipinos here right now. We're trying to pay their devotion, show their respects, and get a touch of the cross as well. Um, it's actually amazing because this is the prime example of organized chaos, okay? It looks like chaos, but you know what? When you're in it, like even earlier when I was in by the cross there, the replica, it is organized. Like people are like, okay, go, 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 go. Okay, come back. Hey, man, you're wearing shoes. Don't be in there. You know, like people here, there's such a good vibe and actually such a respectful vibe, even amongst all of this. And it's really a tribute to Filipinos for the way, you know, when they take pride in things together, it can really be a positive thing. And this Black Nazarene, I mean, yes, it's religious. Yes, there's devotion. But there's a lot of lessons you can pull from this about how we should treat each other and the good vibes we can share with one another, even amongst all the chaos. So, I yes, really cool.